This is Chris Williams, C Sports and Entertainment. I am with the co-founders of the Women of the Carolina Fight Life. Tremendous show tonight. I know you guys had a long day. So before we get started, yes. you know, just talk about what it took to put this whole thing together. Teamwork makes the dream. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Hard work, dedication, make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all worth it. A lot of patience. Mm -hmm. A yeah, lot of a lot of patience. Mm. Okay. Our whole purpose in doing this fundraiser was to showcase the girls and let people know that we're out here in the Carolinas and we're out here in Charlotte. These are girls here that are in karate, jiu-jitsu, MMA, boxing, mm -hmm. and I truly believe tonight we made a statement and tonight people know like, okay, this is what Women of the Carolina Fight Life is about. That's awesome. Because right. a lot of people are always asking, what are we doing? What exactly are we doing? And so, you know, we kept trying to tell people as this fashion show was being um, put together, we'll come to the fashion show, you're going to find out then. You're going to see exactly what is Women of the Carolina Fight Life about. You're going to also see all the girls and you're going to see more than them just being in a fight mode, you're going to actually see the softer side of them some too and the fun side to them. And then you're going to learn just more about what we are all together. Mm -hmm. you know? right. Yeah, and you guys did a fantastic job of pulling that together. And, you know, everybody keeps commenting on the fact that, you know, they know these girls as, you know, combat sports participants, but they got to see them the softer side mm -hmm. on the runway. But in the end, you guys brought them out and they're each, each individual sport. Mm -hmm. And so who came up with that that idea, that touch? I mean, that was... Everybody. <laughs> like I said, teamwork make the dream work. It's, it's just not one person. It takes a team to build a village and to build an empire. Like, like it could be one, to me, like one person, but to me, it takes me, Carrie, all of the girls, everyone that came, like you being here to get us out there, like, it's not just one person. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go back to when you guys, you know, first founded this thing. What was the original thought on this? Also, and I, and I want this from each of you, talk about some of the things that you encountered that you know you can build off of now. Like some of the down, downfalls, some of the things that, you know, were just, that you're trying to improve on other fighters going forward. Well, she's the original thinker, brains behind this. You know, she, this is her vision, you know, from the very get-go, helping these girls. And with us being best friends, and we've been in sports together, like we became friends playing football. football. Yep. Right, that's how we became yep. friends. And we mm -hmm. just remained friends. And even in that journey, I was already boxing. And mm -hmm. I was like, you should be a good boxer. You should do yep, she used to always tell me that. You know? And then she started getting into it. Then we were doing stuff together. And then in the process, you know, I started stepping back down from what I was doing and kind of coming off of it. And she was still going full force. And then she was also seeing just how a lot of it happens behind the scenes. You know, the, the marketing, the promotions, the sponsorships, and how a lot of that stuff is hard. And, and a lot of times she would ask me about it. And she's like, here, I just really want to help a lot of these girls. Because she starts seeing them at different gyms and stuff. And, you know, she's like, man, I really want to help these people. And then we just kind of sat and talked on it some. And she's like, you know, let's do this together. And I was like, ooh. And I was like, okay. And we just really mastered it out some more. And it's just really taken off on its own. It just, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think we started off talking about maybe one or two girls at the time. And talking about even a show and stuff. Like, there's just so much behind it. There's so much behind okay. it. We started this nonprofit, I think it was in February of this year and then got everything together and we wanted to do our first fundraiser and we actually went like really big like and then we thought man ooh, you know <laughs> i mean but it, it was it's a it was a great turnout tonight um and like i said i think people really see us and and what our mission is and what we're pushing as far as helping others not only even just the girls just people in general like showcasing everything because it's not easy um I started off wrestling. I started wrestling in 2013 and got picked up with Impact Wrestling, and I've worked for WWE. So I got to understand and learn things um, doing that. And then in 2015, I transitioned over to uh, MMA, and I started in Jiu-Jitsu. I started training in Jiu-Jitsu, competing. So I got um, to understand and know that craft. And then I, go, I went to Worlds last year and won. <laughs> I went and competed in Las Vegas and won. Um, 
the IBJJF world and got promoted to purple belt. Mm -hmm. And then I stepped into, I went and fought for Ryzen Fighting Federation in Japan. Uh, my first MMA fight against Gabby Garcia. And from there, I went into boxing. So it's kind of like I, I want myself to experience these things because I want to know what it's like to be in, in each sport. But I have a passion for it. If I don't want to do something, I won't do it. But because I met girls in this fight life world, from wrestling is totally different. But to step in, a, in, a, in the fight life world and see like the levels, like when you first start off and how you're trying to grind to the top, it's not easy because you got millions around the world wanting to do the same, same thing. thing. Mm -hmm. okay. And sometimes you have, I think a lot of women around the world now, combat sports is like really big for women fighters and you got women like really having confidence to really take it somewhere, like really pressing, like even in boxing with Clarissa Shields and them, like women right now are really like pushing forward and really showcasing, yeah, I'm a woman, but I could whoop your I don't know if I can say I can I can fight like I got skills I can fight like but never having that platform to really be elevated to showcase their skills on that level you know mm -hmm. sometimes there's a lot of girls they want to go up to they, they want to get there they don't know how to mm -hmm. they quit you know or or girls don't have the funds because they just don't know like how to do it we're more like showing these girls from Carrie's experience to my experience like for us, like to carry yourself as a woman and be a woman, but to be empower yourself so you can empower others, um, and and from our experience to help them elevate. But we also have our different programs. We have girl gang sparring, where we bring all the girls from different gyms to come spar against each other. We we line you up to for boxing with your weight, you know, and get your rounds in. And it's nothing but respect everybody and get your work in. All the gyms, they're you. loving that. Mm -hmm. okay. So all the girls you've seen tonight, they come, they've came to yeah, Girl Gang Sparring, and then we're gonna start Girl Gang Rolling, and that's for Jiu Jitsu, where girls can come and they can get rounds in and rolling. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like practice to train with other girls from different gyms to get them ready for competition or boxing fight and stuff like that. Yeah, we got quite a few things coming up. We got like three girls going to the Vegas um, World Jiu Jitsu tournament. We got two girls going to the um, in Ohio to the Olympic Trials for 2020 mm -hmm. Japan. So there's a lot of different things going on with all of those girls in their process. And mm -hmm. you know, like she was saying, with all the different programs and everything, even something as simple as kind of a form of guidance with the girls when they're dealing with you know just training and their coaches or boyfriends and stuff like that. You know. I'm gonna give you a prime example. Behind the scenes, what some people probably don't know is that sometimes these girls they get hit on by coaches, you know, or or men that are in the in the gym facility, and it's like, no, you need to show that you're a fighter. You need to keep that separate, you know. And, you know, you got to stand up for yourself on that part. So, you know, and it's something that does take place behind the scenes that sometimes people don't know about, you know. And just being able, like in general, just be able to carry yourself and also get that respect back in return as well okay. to show who you are. The girls have to prove themselves even harder a lot of times than the men do. Um, and I honestly like learn like I wanted to understand and learn like my coach Ricky I, I train out of gym all um, and like even with my coaches like just the when you really dedicate yourself to the fight world sometimes it takes you sacrifice a lot like giving to it whether it be like your family or whatever it, it takes a lot and Sometimes people quit before they really get there. Mm -hmm. It's like, nah, just stick with it. It's okay. It might feel like this right now, but there's just keep going because there's something there. Like you keep driving towards something that you, you see where you can be, but it's like you're right here. But as long as you just stick with it, like I truly believe like what we're building for women empowerment period, like can just help a lot of people just to understand like, just women in general <laughs> you know what i'm saying especially for the fight world like yes it's hard sometimes like i'm a heavyweight female i've been wanting to fight it's not a lot of heavyweight females um you know out there like boxing jiu-jitsu cool mma is different then i'll be like dang do i give up do i gotta give up eating like i want to eat because i come from a family we like to eat <laughs> You could ask Ricky. Ricky, right? <laughs> he he went to. I had a train and um for a fight in Japan, 
and my coach came with me for the week and I'm glad he did because I would have been in trouble talking about weight cut. I mean, it's not like I had to cut weight like that, but you know what I'm saying? If he wasn't there, I would have been like in Hawaii just like, you know, aloha. <laughs> but yeah, we're just very, today was a, a success. I don't regret nothing I'm doing with Carrie Light because I truly have a passion to help these women and get them out there and show people like there's women out here that fight in the Carolinas. What's up? Let's go. Let's go. We can join forces and just keep going, like help each other. Let's go. So the fashion show, it showcased, like you said, the female fighter, the soft side of a woman, the sporty side of a woman, but them just being who they are and their personality. So, And it was important, even just down to the T of the songs, playing that first song, Confident coming out, being bold, mm. finishing it with the song Champion, you know, or Women of the Fight Life. So it's like, you needed to hear that as you saw them, okay. you know. Well, the world has heard. So, I mean, you guys started off, I'm curious to see, I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna do next, where you guys are gonna end up, because if this is the start, you guys cannot fail. I mean, it was a <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Seriously, I mean, and I know they probably got a lot of hard work went into it. A lot oh, of yeah. <laughs> and everything else, but you guys did a tremendous job. Mm -hmm. And we are thankful that you had us here. Oh, Thanks we're so glad you were here. You know? Seriously, Molly. Really. I tell you what, I, I, I call my Women of the Carolina Fight Live God's Plan, hashtag mm -hmm. God's Plan, because. Mm -hmm. Without him, like, I just feel like none of this could be possible just to even, you know, like, just to guide, because it's like, I don't know, I'm a fighter, like, I still fight, and I like, like, you know, I might have, I, I ain't got to fight now, so I'm putting it towards what I'm, we're doing with the fight life. She might not have to fight right now, she's about to yeah. get ready here soon. Mm -hmm. But like, <laughs> she got the itch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have the itch. So mm -hmm. if there's any heavyweight out female out there, let's go. I, you know, me, uh -oh. you, let's go. I already know who you're thinking let's right now. So I'll call. You know so what? We're gonna do a rematch. Okay. Everybody want to see me rematch? Um, Monica lay him down. Monica Harrison. Yep, Harrison. Monica. Yeah, I want to rematch. Like on it. Like I came off surgery for my knee after I fought her, and healed back. I just got to get in gym get myself together and I'll fight you know when my coaches tell me okay let's go I'll go you know I'm gonna just go fight just to fight you got to make sure you are ready and, yeah. but there is also another person I want to fight that's heavyweight um, um, what's her name? Carlette, Carlette. Yeah. She, cuz she's not far from here right she just had a fight yes. and she's been calling me out to fight and mm -hmm. nothing but respect but she's been calling me out and actually she was wanting me fight on this last card of hers and I could, I, 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 I am not saying anything. <laughs> well, I'm Everybody just saying, knows the results we're in the Carolinas. Of what just happened, so. We're in the Carolinas, <laughs> and she wanna, she, you know, she, she wanna fight me. And so since she had her, she's back in fighting, like, you're in the Carolinas, I'm in the Carolinas, we can have a Carolina bash. Yeah. You know, of the heavyweight female. <laughs> I just stay over here and just be yeah. encouraging and so, motivating. And nothing but respect, you know. though. I mean, we gotta, we gotta step up. Yeah. Like, why you on fight and you don't wanna like? If people like, for me, if if, if somebody fight, I wanna fight. But at the end of the day, my, it's up to my coaches. They they know me, so they know how I am, and they they gotta make sure I'm one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Because. Gotcha. Cause I'll say right now, you wanna fight? Let's fight. You know that's the kind yeah, of fire. Yeah, she will. Let's go. Let's go outside and fight. My fight. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Let's just wait now. We gotta make sure the business part is correct. And da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So this is tremendous. So Carrie Flock, yeah. please tell the fans how they can follow you, how they can support, how they can donate to you and the women of the Carolina Fight Life. Well, we have an email, WOTCFL at Gmail. And whenever you send whatever email to that, it comes to both of us. Our Instagram and Facebook is both Women of the Carolinas Fight Life. Our YouTube is Women of the Fight Life. Um, and right now, um, we have PayPal as well. So if somebody wants to donate, they can go through PayPal. Um, and it's also under the same email, or you can do paypal.com 
um, slash WOTCFL. We used those letters as our hashtag and pretty much as our signature for everything, just to kind of shorten it down a little bit. But mm -hmm. you can even Google us now <laughs> and come across us. Awesome. So. Yeah. I do want to say one thing. Um, Taylor Kelly B. Jenkins, she signed with Glory Kickboxing and she'll be fighting July 5th in, in uh, Orlando, Florida. Orlando, yep. Florida. Yes. So we're excited for her. Like That's like a really big deal for her to get on a platform to be nationally like seen across the world. Like on, and it'll be on UFC Fight Pass. So everybody out there, just follow Women of Carolina Fight Life. Watch these amazing women and their growth in the fight life. And we're just excited. And if you want any information, like Carrie said, you can email us. And if you follow us on our Instagram and just follow our journey and mm -hmm. let us know what you think. Yeah. Let us know what, what our next fundraiser is going to be. You know, and at the end of the day, <laughs> it is definitely more than a fight. It's, it's a journey. A <laughs> Chris Williams, C Sports and Entertainment with Say Me Drone, <laughs> Lady Tampa, and Carrie Flock. Thank you. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.